This is question 39, chapter 5, in the book by Professor H.C. Verma, volume 1. The man is of 60 kg and the box he is standing in is of 30 kg. And there is a weighing machine that I have shaded red in on which the man is standing. So basically the force exerted by man on this box and action reaction pair the force by the box on the man which I am representing by N N that will be recorded by the weighing machine so the weighing machine will give you the value of N there are two parts in this question in the first part the man manages to keep the box at rest so we will take a equal to 0 so question number 1 it's not question number 1 question number 39 part 1 the force equations are like this that T plus N is equal to 60 G because there is no uh, acceleration and for the box T is equal to 30 G plus N because A is equal to 0. Now if you solve it, if you solve it, you get N is equal to 15 G. So what uh, the reading that it will be showing, it will be showing 15 kg that the man is of 15 kg that's what the reading of the weighing machine will be the part 2 this part 2 says that he wants to get his correct weight so in part 2 the value of n is equal to 60 g but then uh, when he does uh, this that he wants to get his correct weight he will have to apply force in a way that there will be some acceleration so that force has been asked so basically you have to find tension in the rope that's what you want to find out so let's say the acceleration of the system say everything the box moves up the man moves up let's say the acceleration is a upwards now you can say how do I know a is upwards well even if I'm wrong the equations will manage the sign itself so taking A upwards, the equation for the man is N plus T minus 60G is equal to 60A. And for this box, T minus N minus 30G is equal to 30A. Now value of N is given. The question said that he wants to get his correct weight. So value of N is 60 G. This is given. So I am rewriting this equation. 60 G and this 60 G cancels out. So T is equal to 60 A. And here 60 minus 30. So T minus 90 G is equal to 30 A. If I substitute A as T by 60 and solve this equation, I get T is equal to 900 1 by 2. So this becomes 1800 Newton.